Hello viewers welcome to my channel. In this video I will tell you about the 7 new wonders of nature. If you haven't subscribed my channel then please subscribe my channel. New 7 Wonders of Nature 2007 to 2011 was an initiative started in 2007 to create a list of seven natural wonders chosen by people through a global poll. Number 1. The Amazon Rainforest The Amazon Rainforest, also called Amazon Jungle or Amazonia, is a moist broadleaf tropical rainforest in the Amazon biome that covers most of the Amazon basin of South America. This basin encompasses 7 million square kilometers, of which 5,500,000 square kilometers are covered by the rainforest. This region includes territory belonging to nine nations and 3,344 formally acknowledged indigenous territories. The majority of the forest, 60%, is in Brazil, followed by Peru with 13%, Colombia with 10%, and with minor amounts in Bolivia, Ecuador. French Guiana, Guyana, Suriname, and Venezuela. Four nations have Amazonas as the name of one of their first level administrative regions, and France uses the name Guiana Amazonian Park for French Guiana's protected rainforest area. The Amazon represents over half of Earth's remaining rainforests and comprises the largest and most biodiverse tract of tropical rainforest in the world with an estimated 390 billion individual trees in about 16,000 species. More than 30 million people of 350 different ethnic groups live in the Amazon, which are subdivided into nine different national political systems and 3,344 formally acknowledged indigenous territories. Indigenous peoples make up 9% of the total population, and 60 of the groups remain largely isolated. Number 2. Halong Bay. Halong Bay is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and popular travel destination in Quang Ninh Province, Vietnam. The name Ha Long means, descending dragon. Administratively, the bay belongs to Ha Long City, Cam Pha City, and is a part of Van Don District. The bay features thousands of limestone karsts and islets in various shapes and sizes. Ha Long Bay is a center of a larger zone that includes Bai Tu Long Bay to the northeast, and Cat Ba Island to the southwest. These larger zones share a similar geological, geographical, geomorphological, climate, and cultural characters. Ha Long Bay has an area of around 1,553 square kilometers, including 1,969 islets, most of which are limestone. The core of the bay has an area of 334 square kilometers with a high density of 775 islets. The limestone in this bay has gone through 500 million years of formation in different conditions and environments. The evolution of the karst in this bay has taken 20 million years under the impact of the tropical wet climate. The geodiversity of the environment in the area has created biodiversity including a tropical evergreen biosystem and a seashore biosystem. Ha Long Bay is home to 14 endemic floral species and 60 endemic faunal species. Number 3. Jeju Island, South Korea Jeju Island is South Korea's largest island, covering an area of 1,833.2 square kilometers, 707.8 square miles, which is 1.83% of the total area of the country. Alongside outlying islands, it is part of Jeju province. The island lies in the Korea Strait, south of the Korean Peninsula, and South Jeolla province. It is located 82.8 kilometers off the nearest point on the peninsula. Jeju is one of two special self-governing provinces in South Korea, meaning that the province is run by local politicians. The Jeju people are indigenous to the island, and it has been populated by modern humans since the early Neolithic period. The Jeju language is considered critically endangered by UNESCO. It is also one of the regions of Korea where shamanism is most intact. 
Jeju Island has an oval shape of 73 km east-west and 31 km north-south, with a gentle slope around Mt. Hala in the center. The length of the main road is 181 km and the coastline is 258 km. On the northern end of Jeju Island is Kimyung Beach, on the southern end Songgik Mountain, the western end Suwol Peak, and the eastern end Seongsan Ilchobong. The island was formed by the eruption of an underwater volcano approximately 2 million years ago. It contains a natural world heritage site, the Jeju Volcanic Island in Lava Tubes. Jeju Island has a temperate climate which is moderate. Even in winter, the temperature rarely falls below 0 degrees Celsius, 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Jeju is a popular holiday destination and a sizable portion of the economy relies on tourism and related economic activity. Number 4. Iguazu Falls, Argentina, Brazil. Iguazu Falls or Iguazu Falls are waterfalls of the Iguazu River on the border of the Argentine province of Misiones and the Brazilian state of Parana. Together, they make up the largest waterfall system in the world. The falls divide the river into the upper and lower Iguazu. The Iguazu River rises near the heart of the city of Curitiba. For most of its course, the river flows through Brazil. However, most of the falls are on the Argentine side. Below its confluence with the San Antonio River, the Iguazu River forms the border between Argentina and Brazil. The staircase character of the falls consists of a two-step waterfall formed by three layers of basalt. The steps are 35 and 40 meters in height. The columnar basalt rock sequences are part of the 1,000-meter-thick Serra Gerro formation within the Paleozoic-Mesozoic Piranha Basin. The tops of these sequences are characterized by 8 to 10 meters of highly resistant vesicular basalt and the contact between these layers controls the shape of the falls. Headwater erosion rates are estimated at 1.4 to 2.1 centimeters per year. Numerous islands along the 2.7 kilometers long edge divide the falls into many separate waterfalls and cataracts, varying between 60 and 82 meters high. The number of these smaller waterfalls fluctuates from 150 to 300, depending on the water level. About half of the river's flow falls into a long and narrow chasm called the Devil's Throat, Garganta del Diablo in Spanish or Garganta do Diablo in Portuguese. The Iguazu Falls experience a humid subtropical climate, CFA, according to the Köppen climate classification, with abundant precipitation and high temperatures year-round. During the summer of 2006, a severe drought caused the Iguazu River to become diminished, reducing the amount of water flowing over the falls to 300 cubic meters per second, 11,000 cubic feet per second, until early December. This was unusual, as dry periods normally last only a few weeks. The period with the greatest volume of water flowing over the falls is usually December to February coinciding with one of the periods of greatest rainfall. Number 5. Puerto Princesa Subterranean River National Park, Philippines. The Puerto Princesa Subterranean River National Park is a protected area in the Philippines. The park is located in the St. Paul Mountain Range on the western coast of the island of Palawan, about 80 kilometers north of the city of Puerto Princesa, and contains the Puerto Princesa Subterranean River also known as the Puerto Princesa Underground River. It has been managed by the Puerto Princesa city government since 1992. It was listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1999, and voted as a new Seven Wonders of Nature in 2012. It also became a Ramsar wetland site in 2012. A major tourist destination. It is mostly accessed through road trips to the seaside village of Sabong from where one of the many bonkas, kayaks, take visitors to the park. In 2010, a group of environmentalists and geologists discovered that the underground river has a second floor, which means that there are small waterfalls inside the cave. They also found a cave dome measuring 300 meters above the underground river, rock formations, large bats, a deep water hole in the river, more river channels, and another deep cave, as well as marine creatures and more.
Deeper areas of the underground river are almost impossible to explore due to oxygen deprivation. Number 6. Komodo Island, Indonesia. Komodo is one of the 17,508 islands that comprise the Republic of Indonesia. It is particularly notable as the habitat of the Komodo dragon, the largest lizard on Earth, which is named after the island. Komodo Island has a surface area of 291 square kilometers. Komodo is part of the Lesser Sunda chain of islands and forms part of the Komodo National Park. It is a popular destination for diving. Administratively, it is part of the Komodo District, which also includes Rinka Island and numerous other islands off the west coast of Flores, together with part of the western portion of Flores itself forming part of West Mongarai Regency within the province of East Nusa Tenggara. The earliest stories, among Westerners, of a dragon-like animal existing in the region circulated widely and attracted considerable attention. But no Westerner visited the island to check the story until official interest was sparked in the early 1910s by stories from Dutch sailors based in Flores in East Nusa Tenggara about a mysterious creature. The creature was allegedly a dragon which inhabited a small island in the Lesser Sunda Islands. Hearing the reports, Lt. Steyn van Hensbroek, an official of the Dutch colonial administration in Flores, planned a trip to Komodo Island to continue the search. He armed himself, and accompanied by a team of soldiers, landed on the island. After a few days, Hensbroek managed to kill one of the lizards to investigate. Realizing the significance of the dragons on Komodo Island as an endangered species, the Dutch government issued a regulation on the protection of the lizards on Komodo Island in 1915. In the decades since the Komodo became known to non-locals, various scientific expeditions from a range of countries have carried out field research on the dragons on Komodo Island. Number 7. Table Mountain, South Africa. Table Mountain is a flat-topped mountain forming a prominent landmark overlooking the city of Cape Town in South Africa. It is a significant tourist attraction, with many visitors using the cableway or hiking to the top. Table Mountain National Park is the most visited national park in South Africa, attracting 4.2 million people every year for various activities. The mountain has 8,200 plant species of which around 80% are finbos, meaning fine bush. It forms part of the Table Mountain National Park, and part of the lands formerly ranged by co-speaking clans, such as the Uriais, the High Clan. It is home to a large array of mostly endemic fauna and flora. Its top elevates about 1.000 meters above the surrounding city, making the popular hike upwards on a large variety of different, often steep and rocky pathways a serious mountain tour which requires fitness, preparation and hiking equipment. The main feature of Table Mountain is the level plateau approximately 3 kilometers from side to side, edged by steep cliffs. The plateau, flanked by Devil's Peak to the east and by Lion's Head to the west, forms a dramatic backdrop to Cape Town. This broad sweep of mountainous heights, together with Signal Hill, forms the natural amphitheater of the city bowl in Table Bay Harbor. The highest point on Table Mountain is towards the eastern end of the plateau and is marked by McClear's Beacon, a stone cairn built in 1865 by Sir Thomas McClear for trigonometrical survey. It is 1,086 meters above sea level, and about 19 meters higher than the cable station at the western end of the plateau. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please like, comment, subscribe channel and share the video.